Welcome back and thank you very much. The Daily Guide this morning says NDC in court of a new register. COVID-19 hits 11 as an apex coronavirus chief, Dr. Anethi Asamoabam, Mensa Bonsu for Supreme Court along with the uh, Yoni Kolendi and two others. Four soldiers, five civilians arrested for robbery. Quarantine traveling MPs, majority <clears throat> leader in parliament. Daily graphic, the front page yesterday, uh, the president had a meeting with eminent clergymen and says these aren't normal times. See God's face for restoration. President tells Christians over COVID-19. And NDC sues EC. Four nominated to Supreme Court. Kohui stack cancellation will result in huge losses, according to the Ghana Tourism Authority. The back page transport ministry spells out measures for bus operators against COVID-19. Four military personnel, others held for robbery. And the final newspaper, God, heal our land. President calls on clergy to pray against coronavirus. NIA implements social distancing at registration centers. And GPHA spends cruise, uh, suspends cruise ships but did not ban cargo ships. Why? Fuel prices, 63% taxes and margins makes big drop difficult, according to Seaboard. My guest this morning is lawyer Abraham Amalba. He is the leader of the NDC's legal team. He's also a member of the communication team. And Eric Chum, who's got his eyes on the Fantiaco South seat of the new patriotic party uh, is a senior player will be so uh, we stick together and we stay in this together gentlemen welcome how are you doing good morning there you go how are the grounds uh we're doing fantastic anyway uh mm. good morning to you good morning to my good friend here you should concentrate instead of being on this phone but again uh good morning to all the Checking viewers the of, uh, the again, tv 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 three this morning and all the other folks actually following online Mm. And a very good morning to uh, my people in Pantiaqua South. Mm. Great. It's, it's good on the grounds? Yes, we are doing fantastic. Mm. Um, I think that in the uh, final analysis, uh, the people would buy the message that we are sending across. Mm -hmm. It's an internal contest now, right. so um, I don't think there's a platform to mm. go into details right, as to right, right. the conversations that we are having. But I believe that... Uh, we've paid our dues mm -hmm. and they would actually honor us with victory on the 25th of April. I think you have fine material, so I endorse your <coughs> candidature and I wish they see the same. Council. Right. Thank you. Good morning. It cannot be a good morning. It can't. Why, this, why is it this, not? This, 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 coronavirus, this coronavirus thing. See, the streets are entirely empty. Mm. The usual traffic's traffic that you will see mm -hmm. is absent. And when you are driving, it's like the whole city is dead silent. Mm. Those of us who come out to do some of these programs are the daring ones, but a number of people are in their homes. Mm. We've just recorded our 11th um, patient. Mm. This is somebody who does not fit the case, uh, they call it case... Vertical... Case... Vertical uh, case something, case, uh, case management or something, where we said that if you traveled from a country that is infected mm. or you come into contact with somebody who is infected, mm. this is somebody who has not traveled okay. and so, is in Kumasi. So Dr. Kubo calls it the horizontal case. All the imported cases, he uh, says they are vertical. vertical cases. Yeah. So this, I also, I'm told local community infection. Mm. When we begin to get that, then it's becoming scary. And I think that I just don't know what we can do because this is a matter the whole world is engulfing. Mm. Supplies, I'm told countries that produce the supplies are not also exporting because they themselves need the supplies. Mm. So if your hospitals don't have them now, mm. It's not possible you can even get. But was that not why the president met the captains of industry, pharmaceutical uh, bodies, and the governor of the Bank of Ghana earlier this week? That those that we can produce locally, yes. we should be able to do it. Exactly. Yes. So, ah, it's not a good morning at all. Today, the Muslims cannot go to their usual mm -hmm. Friday prayers. Mm -hmm. So, it appears our lives are being constricted. Mm -hmm. And I. I I just don't know what we can do as a nation, but it's, 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 it's a difficult situation.
Okay, so yesterday I, I interacted with um, a, a health economist from the University of Ghana Business School, uh, Gordon Abeka Nkrumah, that's his name. He's a senior lecturer also with the Department of Public Administration and Health Services on um, hot issues. And he says that at this point, government should have put out a plan, a plan to say that I have taken all the essentials, hand sanitizers, hand washing soaps, uh, water for the communities, gari, sugar, these things, and said that, look, don't hoard them. I will take care of them, and we can sell them at a certain price so everybody can afford it. Do, do you agree with him, Eric? So that, because now people, I mean, whether we like it or not, are hoarding, and they may be hoarding what they don't need, while others who may need it may not be getting some to buy at all to, to keep body and soul together. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, good morning once again. Uh, like we all agree, this is a global phenomenon, a mm -hmm. pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen pictures and videos of supermarkets across the world where people have essentially uh, taken everything. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the governments have actually spoken against the, uh, if what you call, hoarding. Mm -hmm. Uh, panic buying and all that. And so for me, I think that uh, because we are not in normal times, mm -hmm. uh, ideas like these are, are welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, whilst it's important that we caution our people as to how dangerous this is, mm -hmm. and also educate ourselves mm -hmm. in terms of precautions that needs to be taken. Mm -hmm. uh, we should also be uh, minded by the fact that we are not overly uh, if like alarmed okay. or we don't cause too much fear and mm -hmm. panic mm -hmm. so that that would actually result in people uh, going at every length to ensure that they buy all of these things. Um, my view is that when these things do happen, it's actually the very poor or vulnerable who mm -hmm. actually would suffer uh, because they would not have the liquidity mm -hmm. or the disposable uh, income mm -hmm. to be able to buy these products anyway. That's um, true. I mean, in, in large quantities to, to, to store. Mm. So we all have a responsibility. I mean, this issue for me, uh, like other experts have said, is actually multifaceted. It's, How is that? Yeah, it's impact even on the economy mm -hmm. and in other sectors. So yeah. in as much as some sectors are suffering, there's also this idea that some other sectors are also Benefiting. Blooming, benefiting, mm -hmm. especially in the area of uh, sanitary staff and hygiene staff and all of these things. So I think that we need to strike a balance. The areas where government needs to do something in terms of take an active or a direct uh, interest in, government should do so. Mm -hmm. But we all do have what I call personal responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, keeping safe and uh, looking after our families mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. uh, people that we are acquainted with and all that, it's imperative at this time. And so, uh, essentials. I mean, again, mm -hmm. um, the conversation now has come to the fore where we are saying that, listen, how come uh, this thing has actually brought to the fore mm -hmm. our need to actually industrialize mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. produce things locally? Why now? Why now? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, even Guta and our friends are the... Uh, spare parts place in Abosoka mm -hmm. and all that are now complaining that uh, they are not able to bring in their supplies and all of mm -hmm. those things. So that should be almost like a wake-up call that uh, this whole conversation that we've been having over the last hundred years or so in mm -hmm. terms of being self-reliant and producing things locally mm -hmm. and a certain, um, if you like, dependence on imported products should it should be something that we would have a, a proper conversation about. Mm -hmm. And even the most, if you like, annoying aspect of it is the fact that we are importing things that we can produce locally right. or non-essentials. Mm -hmm. And that in itself uh, puts some kind of um, uh, burden on the economy. Mm -hmm. We've been having this city conversation mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. time and a number and everything. Mm -hmm. And then it takes something as... Uh, a pandemic mm -hmm. to bring to the fore this whole conversation as to what we should do as a people in terms of one. And even apart from the fact that we do not 
produce enough locally. Mm. Uh, the sort of confidence that we have in our local brands. Right. So it's, it's whilst we are looking at it, it's both a private sector mm. uh, problem and a, a government but, problem but should, where we but, find but in the absence of convergence. That, Eric, yeah. In the absence of that, should the government, for example, be leading the charge? Look, sanitizers, prices for sanitizers have skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. People are selling at 100 and 150 percent more than they used to sell them. And this doctor is saying that, look, at this point, government must have that control if it really wants to control and respond appropriately to the coronavirus. Do you side with him? No, I, I, that's what I'm saying. That I mean, in these times, you'd have to accommodate divergent views, mm. and we need to be able to sift through <laughs> all of these uh, views and opinions that are coming through mm. to find out what would work for us. It's just that we don't have enough time, mm. you know. So don't. Um, speed. I mean, I used to work in a place where we mm. call the efficiency where mm. speed versus execution, mm -hmm. you understand? So you can have all the time to make the best decisions, but you don't have the, the, the luxury of time. So okay. whilst we're doing all of these things, as we go along, mm -hmm. uh, things will come up. And that's why I'm even quite scandalized by the uh, minority mm -hmm. opposition to this uh, restriction bill mm -hmm. and what it seeks to do. The, the, you know, the, so the, arguments, the, the, the arguments they are raising are that is, is, is too broad no, but it, and it yeah, doesn't, but, coronavirus but is, is not mentioned anywhere in the but, bill. But you see, and so I'm, it, it I'm gives not, the see, president some more power see, than what he perhaps see, needs at this time. These are not, I mean, normal times. Mm. And if really well and indeed we are minded and we are very concerned about this uh, pandemic mm. and its effect on our people. The issue to do with politics should be something that we put on the you back burner. You think it's political? No, it is political, you see. So in the same vein, mm. you have uh, a certain uh, conversation that has gone out there, which I think is preposterous mm. to start with that, because some um, registration is going on and, and I, churches mm. have, have been uh, asked to uh, mm, suspend mm, activities mm. and mosques and everything, well, yeah. then it's an attempt to rig elections. However, in the same vein, a government decides that, okay, because we, we are essentially in a state of emergency, if you want to put it that way, let's bring to Parliament mm. a bill that would, would, would essentially make sense out of all these things that we are doing so that we would be able to take certain decisions mm. without going through that full recourse because mm. I mean these decisions sometimes would have it. to take immediate actions mm. right so for me you can have divergent views mm. you can make inputs into these things and everything and like conversation coming from even the parliament itself on the majority side he said yes let's do it parliament itself it's a uh, must have its own mm. rules, mm -hmm. you understand? So if there are certain aspects of it that needs to be tweaked or certain things that need to be added to it, fair enough. So in one vein, you're so concerned about the people of this country. In another mm. vein, everything that you do is of a political, they, 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 So the mi minorities uh, said, I mean, that is... The minorities really concern that, for example, you have a law, you're proposing a law that will um, help us enforce these directives by the president. And nowhere in the law is coronavirus, for example, mentioned. And it comes more like a blanket law that gives the president so much power to rise and make certain decisions. No, but maybe without recourse to parliament. The, the bill, is it legitimate? The, the, listen, Are their courts legitimate? You, see, you know my orientation. I, I, I have no qualms with people expressing divergent views. My point is that we all agree, mm. right, that we're not in normal times. And anything that we do as a country, by virtue of the fact that we wanted to be governed by the tenets of the uh, uh, rule of law, mm. and the fact that we have a, a parliament, mm. means that actions taken by the executive has to be necessarily uh, given mm. a certain mm. uh, leeway by parliament. Okay. So what the president has done, instead of sitting at the uh, Jubilee House mm. and passing executive uh, instruments, instruments or right. sort of say, okay, let's make it a bit more democratic. Let's take it to Parliament. Let's, however, it's of, mm. of an urgent nature. Mm. You understand? I'm saying that even if you disagree, right, this whole idea that everything now, even in these times, is geared towards some elections, mm. as far as I'm concerned, it's preposterous. Okay. Because, you see, if you're not careful, mm. what things are, we keep our eye off the ball, mm. you know? And I'm saying that their position vis-a-vis -vis that of the NIA mm. and all the other things. It's inconsistent with their position 
on the restriction. They are not legitimate calls. It, that, that's what I'm saying. That it is inconsistent. Okay. There has right. to be Don't some me. kind of consistency. Okay. Thank you. Let, let me in bring. Let me your bring your argument. Let me bring your mama. Am I about? So yesterday, the good doctor uh, from the University of Ghana Business School, Doctor Gordon Abekan Kruma, says, "Kamen should at this point have a plan, a plan to say because people are going to lose their jobs." Some people may lose their jobs. Some businesses may not survive coronavirus by the time it's ended. Government should have the stimulus package that's been announced by the U.S., for example, to cushion them, to know that, look, if I'm on the front line as a health personnel, as a policeman, as a prison officer, doing some work for the state to ensure that we all get out of this, I am guaranteed. My family is taking care of food supplies are there so people don't hoard. And then he adds uh, the, the legislation. What, what are your thoughts should government be doing that now? And this law, your arguments that you're raising, says it's inconsistent. What do you say? I think uh, the doctor's call is apt and it's appropriate. Mm. Um, you will need, in times like this, dedicated people who will dedicate their lives mm. to protect the rest of us. And so if the call is that, look, such people should be given some guarantees, mm. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think okay. it's a legitimate call mm. for those people to also, as it were, uh, be rest assured mm. that even if um, it becomes critical mm -hmm. that they die mm. or it becomes critical that they lose their jobs, mm. then they have something, their families have something to fall on. Right. I agree perfectly with that. And that is what nations that love their people do. Mm -hmm. And that's what the example is given by the American system. I doubt if uh, we are even thinking about something like that. You but can't, nations, you can't be too sure. na nations that love their people, that love their citizens, will roll out some of these incentives. On the hoarding mm. and the price hikes, right. it is in times like this that we really know the true Ghanaian. How do you mean? <laughs> we are in critical times. Mm -hmm. Then this hand sanitizer, which used to be sell, sold at 10 cities. No, this, this was uh, 35. Uh, 35. This is now the 60. Maybe 40. No, this is now 80, 85. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This one. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, the bigger one is 150, 180. Mm -hmm. It used to be so, 50. This is the time that you rather would want people who are selling some of these things mm. to make it a point to have it available for all to buy. Social and then justice. to also, even in, in times like this, it's like we are in a war situation mm -hmm. against the coronavirus. People should even sacrifice and even reduce their prices so that all of us can have something to buy. Those of us who can afford to buy, will also buy for those who cannot afford. Okay. Those who are on the streets cannot. But you hike the price way above what is legitimate. And we sit down here and say, Ghanaians love each other. This is a test. This is a testament. Whether we love each other or not. I think that... I, 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 I don't know, but in, in, in some countries, for mm. instance, in South Africa, mm. they have what is called a competition commission. Mm. Where, if you see things like this, where people yes. hike prices, you go and report. Mm -hmm. In Ghana here, I don't know. I don't know where I can go. Is it to the police station? I don't think so. Um, and so the doctor's call, I'm trying to dovetail yeah, it, the yeah, doctor's call doctor. mm -hmm. for government to intervene mm -hmm. in such areas mm -hmm. where people are increasing prices astronomically. Mm -hmm. There's a need for government intervention. How oh. they are going to do it, I don't know. But the government must intervene so that these things can be available for all to buy. Good call. Look, it is only a despot, mm -hmm. a tyrant, a dictator who in times like this would want to have super, superficial, supernatural powers to, as it were, use those powers to curtail the freedoms of his citizens. Oh, they are not being come consistent. On, come that's on, what, come that's on. what Eric Look, is. <laughs> in this country, they are not being consistent. In this country, mm. we have the Public Health Act, if it's about health issues. Mm. If it's about law and order, we have the Public Order Act. Mm. If it's about natural disaster, we have national Man, uh, uh, Nezaza Management Act, mm -hmm. NADMO Act. If it's about emergency powers, we have the Emergency Powers Act. And in the Constitution, there are some emergency powers. What again do you want? Who is this? The President. 
What again do you want? Apart from the fact that you mentioned that there is no uh, mention of coronavirus in the, the act, mm. do you know that some of the provisions of the a bill mm -hmm. that is before parliament do not address issues of coronavirus? Hmm. There is a provision that talks, and I'm trying to get it, there's a provision that talks about, and that's clause three, Clause 3, I hope I can get it. Clause 3 talks about... Um, Clause 3 talks about uh, the, the, the issues relating to emblems, mm. the, the, the national flag. Mm. So, for instance, if you do anything that seeks to undermine or... or undermine the national flag, mm. the, 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 the emblems of Ghana, mm. it becomes an offense and the president can arrogate to himself John, the John, power. You have a problem Johnny, with that. Johnny, you see. Yes. Allow, allow him to. No, no, yes, no, it's no, not related to. It's not your It is not yes. related to. I'm saying that you have that which is not related to, which is not related to the, 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 the uh, coronavirus. But you need one, one person to crack the whip, like the president has chosen a new uh, corona chief. To, to be able to coordinate everything. The president needs to be in charge to really... No, but you see... No, but it's a conversation. Allow him. Allow him. No, no, you had your time. He didn't okay. just allow him. But he doesn't have a problem um, to me shipping him. He looks for, but, but he's but looking I, for his act. Oh, he, am I, are you looking for he's your already, act? He's already. So can I chip in? Okay. Yes. So all I'm saying is that, you see, in times like this, where you have this advent of fake news mm. and people sending all sorts of information out there using all sorts of... Uh, logos and mm, emblems mm, uh, purporting mm, that mm, it's coming from uh, an expert or yeah. whatever. It's important that we do not send out false information because it's extremely dangerous. Okay. So these things are, and this is not meant to be so something that take, will be in perpetuity. Can okay. I take you understand? It's okay. a restriction so, bill so he, that is meant to bring into he's, context he's mentioning and perspective different laws, this public order corona, act, corona emergency you see, uh, laws and see, everything else. I have just told you that mm. it is a despot who will make such laws. They are saying that, and he just confirmed it, people put out fake news. And so they are finding ways to but stop. But this is a public oh, oh, allow him, allow him. Okay. Okay. They are finding ways to get to those people. Then you say that you are bringing a law to deal with coronavirus. You don't you see come, that. You, how is that related to coronavirus? Look, clause 3, D, the restriction is reasonably required for the purpose of safeguarding the people of Ghana against the teaching, propagation of a doctrine which exhibits or encourages disrespect for the nationhood of Ghana, the <coughs> national symbols, emblems, or incites hatred against other members of the community. Tell me how is this, this one, what I've just read. Coronavirus related. You are the lawyer. Tell yes, me. Yeah, it yeah. is not connected to coronavirus. They are coming using coronavirus to put in laws mm. that will allow the president to arrogate to himself the right to hold people and punish them if I sit here and I say things that the president is watching now and is not happy about. But the law has been passed yesterday, I understand. No, they have the speed. They've decided to uh, uh, put it on the uh, uh, emergency, emergency yeah. lane. Okay. Yes, emergency lane. And so, let Ghanaians know mm. that this law has nothing to do with coronavirus. Mm. And this law has nothing to do with national disasters mm. or natural disasters, if you may call it. This law has everything to do with the President Akufado seeking for extra powers that the Constitution has not provided him to be able to clamp down on his opponents and the citizens of this country. Yeah, and yeah. I've, just, is, read is, one, is, I've just read one to you. I've just read one to you. I've just read one to you. There's a portion that also talks about if you say something which affects the, the, uh, the, the presidency. Mm. I think media, your media colleagues were concerned about that one too. Mm. I think that all of us as a people should resist 
the attempt of the president. Already we have said that this constitution makes the president too powerful. Well, haven't we said that is, already? Is, it, is that not why we have a committee of parliament that's supposed to have looked at this? They saw it and they brought it to the floor anyway. This parliament has majority coming from the president's party. Mm. And you don't expect them, as he's sitting here, to scrutinize what the president has brought to parliament. And so, as it is now, they are using their numbers to rush through this. And that's why the minority here said yesterday that there is nothing urgent about this law. There isn't? There isn't nothing urgent about it. Because, first and foremost, you said the law was coming to deal with coronavirus, which is an emergency situation, we all agree. Mm. But we've come through the law, there's no coronavirus matters inside here. There's no word of coronavirus. Two, we have pointed to the people of this country. Mm. They created the impression that, oh, what the president did by announcing the emergency uh, um, things that measures, he, right. uh, measures that yeah. he put in place yeah. were uh, new, novel, and they were not, they were not um, in, in, in any law. Right. So that's, this is now the time they, they are going for the parliament to mm. provide a law mm. to back what he did. That's a lie. Why in this country, mm. in this country, you know that when there's an outbreak of um, cholera mm. in some parts of the country, we've closed down schools. We've asked uh, 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 people who sell food mm. to stop selling the food. This is because we come under the Public Health Act. Right. There's a law that deals with that. So if you're saying we, we don't need a new law. We don't law. need. We don't need. And, and the irony of it, this president will do anything if, 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 if whatever is happening is to ensure his continuous stay in power, he'll, he'll but, close but, an eye. Why, 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 why do you conclude like that? He'll close an eye. Why do you conclude like that? National Identification Authority. And you know, Jim Mensah has gone to Parliament to amend the provision that says that the... Uh, National voters' ID card cannot be used for the next elections, mm. which we are in court about. And that the Ghana card is predominantly what will be used. So I'm not right. saying it's the only one. Right. And so, because they are at the backyard of the president in the Eastern region, mm. and they are defying his orders, the president has not seen that. They, they find out reports that they are, they are uh, instituting distancing. Look, social distancing is on the front page. Look, the, the Ghana page. Medical Association, the mm. body that is seized with the authority mm. to speak about health matters, has indicated that what they are doing there at the uh, research centers defies the social distance uh, prescription that was provided. Okay, thank you. Journalists have gone there and they've seen that, <laughs> but this president does not care. Even people's, people are going to die. For him to continue to be fired, he yes. doesn't care. Yes. You've gone to arrest churches. You know in Kumasi, they arrested churches. Yeah, because they defy the they defy. order. The same thing, the National Identification Authority is defying. The president has closed his eyes. He has not seen that. But Kenatifa, Professor Kenatifa says that he has a governing council to yield to, a board to yield to. So the board would have to make that determination yes. whether or not they continue or not. So you, that's, that's law. That's within the law. You're a lawyer. I am shocked that in times like this, when drastic measures are taken, when the president asked that churches shouldn't operate, did he consult the churches? Didn't you hear yesterday the churches blaming him for not consulting them before doing that? Did he consult the churches? Atifo is saying that we should consult who? Board okay. of governors. Thank you. Who are, who are those board of governors? When we are faced with a disease that is attacking and killing worldwide, who are those board of directors? Well, who are they? Okay, Eric. You, you, see, you have a few uh, concerns. Uh, you, you know, this. sometimes it's important that you restrain yourself on these matters. So I would do say, listen, the only people who are interested in elections and politics is the NDC. You are not? The no, 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 not. no. I mean, in, in, especially in these matters, you know, so they pick and choose certain aspects of issues and the ones that are populist in nature are the ones that they run with. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, but I can give that to them. They are desperate. They are in opposition. They want to come back to power. But essentially, that's not going to happen. Is that anytime simple as that? They are talking but about NHI, the red portions let, of the let, law, let, 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 in parliament, let, 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 that's gone, let, let, gone beyond the committee's let, let, stage. This is a very complex, and I would commend the president anyway, mm -hmm. of 
his ability to deal with issues of a complex nature, mm -hmm. right? There's a global pandemic. Uh, countries that are purported to have even better medical facilities and institutions and uh, protocols than we have mm -hmm. are actually bedeviled with this particular pandemic. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. We put together measures. We've uh, done testing. We've, we've put together isolation centers. We've voted money for that to happen. Mm -hmm. We are educating our people. We are being open and transparent as to what is happening and all that. Mm -hmm. That is what you can do at, this, at the very least at mm -hmm. this particular moment. Mm -hmm. Then you go forward and also institute measures so that it doesn't become uh, like, I mean, he's trying to actually imply. Mm -hmm. If the president does not seek a certain legal leverage mm. for all the things, the actions that he's, he's taken. That is where you can actually call him a, t a tyrannical and a despot and all of those words that he's trying to use. Mm. But you see, where I have a problem is the inconsistency. So in one breath, okay. um, all these actions are meant to be taken. Mm. In another breath, if you do, it means that you are doing something that it's hinging towards but, but they, a political the, the portion of the law that he quoted. Uh, 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 the portion reason. of the law that he quoted. Yes. He, he says he can, he it can, has nothing to do with coronavirus. Let me, you agree. let me tell you something. We sit in this country where you have certain elements going around saying that they have cures for coronavirus mm. and they have all sorts of things, uh, either churches or pastors mm. or whatever, mm -hmm. telling us they have all of these things. We also know that this is a very serious matter. Mm. It's not something that we can toy with. We can't allow people to toy with the lives of the average Kenyan. Mm. So in, in times like this, you need to be able to institute laws mm. to be able to deal with these things. It says the so laws issues to do with people. Yeah, but you can say public that. Public order act, public order act, easy, easy, easy. NADMO act. We've, we've, we've come, we've treaded this path so many times when mm. issues of this nature have happened, where we would say that, listen, in sometimes, because you have different, different, different laws, speaking to a particular subject and it's not consolidated people have a problem or we have a problem in terms of even executing it or enforcing it right so this is a, pub, uh, a restriction mm. bill that serves to uh, uh, seeks to serve a particular purpose mm. Mm. you understand and in in the uh, if you like the communication in the lettering of that in the wording you have specific issues with that. I'm saying that. So this the law, thing is, this law, the, the this thing new is, law is it's for certain, coronavirus. It's, 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 certain it's to help us fight coronavirus, this law, mm -hmm. this new law. But that is the contest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have so to why, be So why is coronavirus down. not mentioning it? No, but is he, yesterday you can, you, I spent time you've been, through. You've been hoodwinked by No, I'm, I'm not being hoodwinked. You know, I mentioned been, it. Yesterday, yeah, yeah, yesterday, yesterday, hold on, hold on for me. I've not been hoodwinked. And that's unfortunate if you, if you say, but yesterday I was in parliament. I saw the bill. I read through it. In fact, yesterday I left here at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. after hot issues, mm -hmm. and I went home with uh, Komla Kluche, who was who's been in Parliament all all day through, and we're looking at the, the law, and I found time to read until after 11:30 p.m. There's not a single place where coronavirus is mentioned. Now, if the law is about Eric Chum, mm -hmm. and there's no definition of Eric Chum in the law, no mention of Eric Chum, that certainly raises eyebrows. Yeah, so it's, it's, that that within, makes their concern. You see. The president, uh, I think a week and a half ago or so, mm. or two weeks ago, made certain pronouncements right. and made certain uh, calls mm. as to people being, because you know we have a certain entrenched uh, uh, protocol clauses, in, in clauses mm. in our constitution mm. in terms of the freedom of movement, right, whatever, right, and right. all of those mm. things. Now, in a, in, this, in a case where you seek mm. to legitimately or legally infringe on those particular things, uh, 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 rights, mm -hmm. right? Something has to happen, mm -hmm. you know. So that, in the wisdom of the president mm -hmm. and the executive, say, okay, for us to be able to do this without infringing on people's mm -hmm. rights, let's take this to parliament because we all agree that it's an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. It's not normal times, and you cannot allow a few, if you like, um, uh, recalcitrant people to 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 make enterprise out of. An unfortunate situation, okay. you know. So there are plenty of examples. Mm. I'm talking about people who are churning all sort of fake mm. information, mm. Mm. who are mm. trying to uh, make some money out of this mm. by claiming mm. that they have this cure, one or other, and sort of churning out information that is not right. to our so benefit. So that's what you're trying to do. You understand? So that's so, coronavirus. And then issues Allah, to do Allah with it, mm. listen, issues to do with gatherings and all of those things. All these things are things that we all agree that is entrenched 
in our constitution. Could it, could it, right. Couldn't the assemblies, so, couldn't the, so, assembly, so, the local assemblies so, have been made to do this? No, we didn't it, need a law to ha ha I have mean, asked the police see, and the military to go to Kumasi to are, clamp down are, on let, that let, church listen, that was listen, let, let, let me tell you something, right? Even in areas where we claim to have taken this a whole democratic dispensation mm -hmm. from what, as example, go to the streets of the UK and everything. There are some places where, I mean, even soldiers have been actually been brought into mm -hmm. the town to ensure like a total lockdown of right? yeah, I mean, they're going to uh, supermarkets and all sorts of mm. things. And so these are not mm. normal times. You know, so in one breath, we expect an executive or the mm. president to be decisive, mm. right, and show conviction in, in what he does, mm. right? In another breath, when things are being done, people have... So, so what, is the, life, and what is the lifetime of the, the lifespan of this life? I would have is to... It, is it I up would until have to, when coronavirus is over? I would, or is I would, I would have to... I mean, uh, delve deeper into that. But all I'm saying is that all that I'm saying is that all that I'm saying is that you see, it's only one group of people who would seek. I, to, I, I want us to infer, to not to make to it about a group, political a group of people. No, no, no. Let me let me let me. So, let, I mean, so, but let me so, make my point. You know, hold on. Right, election related matters and politics into every single issues. And I'm saying that when you do that, it's actually. Smacks of inconsistency. But, but Eric, and is, is not, hold on. Eric, you Eric, you see, consistency. you're talking inconsistency. You're talking. He himself is inconsistent. Um, political, all the way saying, oh, I'm you're talking uh, political injection and all of that. Uh -huh. And I'm saying that you this know, law we're making is about Coco Dairy. Uh -huh. Nowhere in the law is Coco Dairy mentioned or anything looking like Coco Dairy mentioned. What uh, is the contest of. Why do you think that this actually went to Parliament to start with? Okay. And I mean, it's you, you the have the benefit. Mm. You have the benefit of, of, of the going bill. through it's the and of everything that has been spelled yes. out, right? Now, so you you consume the bill in its entirety. Yes. Mm. And if you allow a Maliba and it's to good wing, I use I use I'm, I use I'm the not, word. I'm not allowing to, you. Are, you are impugning motive, no, no, which no. is wrong. You are impugning motive by taking certain no, portions no, no, no. and reading out of context to you. That is exactly the conversation that we'll be having. And I'm saying that. Right, it's mm. in the best interest of the uh, large population mm. of this country to ensure that people's rights are not mm. infringed upon. Is it? Is it? Is it? I, I'm trying and to. I'm to trying to understand. Bring you. some kind it's of clarity and leverage. leverage. See, no, no, but you don't because you don't know what to say. Because you have been asked. No, because you've been asked to rumble, 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 right? To poopoo, to poopoo the bill and to. Uh, oh. Disagree with everything that every position taken by the MPP. Okay. Don't do so. Okay, and that so, is it. So, I'm so even you, in all so, this, so I'm in all you, of these conversations, I'm asking you. In I'm all of this I'm conversation, you, I'm asking you. The this. NDC itself, as a political party, hasn't come out and even told Ghanaians what they would have done differently. Okay, I'm asking you. Would have used existing laws. That's what we are I'm, saying. Okay, okay. So Eric, I'm asking you this question. Ah. I'll come to Amalba shortly. It, this law is supposed to help us fight coronavirus, correct? Now, coronavirus may not be with us till forever. Or is this law supposed to help us fight all other pandemics that may come or situations of emergency? What is, what is this supposed to do? I don't know. I would have to uh, seek a bit of clarity on that matter. Okay. But all I'm saying is that in these times that we are, it is relevant, it is important, mm. right? And it's fit for purpose. And that's exactly what we are doing. Okay, thank you. The law, as you have seen, and I think you have seen a copy of the bill, the bill does not stipulate when this law would come to an end. Mm. Simply put, they are bringing in a new law which is making the president mm. very powerful and can decide that, look, if I don't like the way you are speaking on radio, I don't like the way you are behaving, I can hold you. And so you can go and say that you have, you can use this cocoa you see, you thing see, to, you to, see, to cure cocoa. There are laws you already. So. There are laws already dealing saying? with this. There are laws already dealing with it. Fake, if you, uh, you, you indicate that you can, you can do something, you cannot do it. That's, mm. that's fraud. Yeah. And you can be sent to court. People have been sent to court on those on those grounds. I am shocked that a party that says it is the touchbearer mm. of our democratic uh, 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 um, discourse in this country are the ones who are rolling back the democratic gains that we have achieved. You, you think this I is think rolling that back? It's rolling back. This president, by his nature and his conduct, is injurious. To a democratic dispensation. You, you have your men in parliament. They could raise these concerns. How I many are they? They have raised ask, them. And ask for... You heard for yesterday. You were in parliament yesterday. Mm. You, know, you saw how the minority were, were up in arms. To the extent that the minority leader had to threaten legal action. That the numbers, even the numbers in parliament, were not up to the required number. There was no quorum. 
and why, yet, why, why and yet they went ahead and, 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 passed, and passed it. And passed it to become uh, one that will be dealt with under emergency, certificate of emergency. So they are just using their numbers and bulldozing their way through. We are in difficult times under this administration. This administration does not pretend well for the people of this country. Okay. The KNUST has produced affordable hand sanitizers to help prevent the COVID-19 pandemic. The Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology uh, in its efforts to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus 2019, COVID-19, has produced affordable alcohol-based sanitizers for the university community and the general public. The initiative was commissioned by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kwesi Obri Danso, and the University of Management forms part of the university's corporate social responsibility. So, KNUST, congratulations to you. We want to see a lot more of these in the coming days. We want, you to, we want to see you produce paracetamol and all the others that we consume on a daily basis. Etanam, welcome. Yes, um, thank what, you. what are we hearing yes, on what's A lot of messages on COVID-19. Good morning, Johnny. We only have one Ghana and one presence. Why ban public gatherings, including churches, mocks, uh, funerals, etc., and allow a Gangantuan gathering in the Eastern region for the NIA registration? The MPP led by President Ekufuado should walk his talk and at least be serious as the President of the Republic. This is from Tridos. Farouk Tema says, God of Abraham will never forsake us. We will surely overcome this COVID-19 trying times. The self-seeking political propagandists in DC and their politically tainted CSO friends should know no amount of vilification and propaganda can uh, crowd the state of Ghana into submission. State institutions will put safety measures in place and carry out their duties without any fear or favor, Farouk. Uh, Walanyo Inakutia says, we must all work together with the spirit of oneness to fight one common enemy that can't spare uh, any one of us, regardless of our political affiliation referred to us as coronavirus. Should it, uh, it should be our collective responsibility to bring ideas together. Regards to NS Yakumi as incoming uh, parliamentary candidate. This one says, good morning, Johnny. I'm sad writing this. And my reason for being sad is no PPEs, hand sanitizers, and so on on health centers and chip compounds. Johnny, good morning. We are joking as a nation. How can the president give directive and yet his own region, NIA, are registering people where religious bodies have compiled, uh, uh, complied with the directive? Is the president not doing some of these things for his own interest? Religious bodies uh, should... Uh, sit up and resist because there's hidden agenda. This is from Timothy. Good morning. If NIA and nightclubs are operating, I'm ready to go uh, to the cells because I'm um, to host church service come this uh, Sunday. Pray to God for divine intervention and opportunity to educate my congregation. Okay. This is from Honorable Akogo Emmanuel Ayinkpaga from Bongo. Is it not uh, paradoxical uh, that a president uh, who is touted as human rights activist and who is claimed to have uh, masterminded that the repeal of the criminal libel law be seeking to trample on the fundamental human rights with the so-called coronavirus bill, which is currently before parliament. Kofi Seidu, he's asking a question. Good morning, please ask the, this is MPP man to tell us why other institutions like colleges of education and others who have third years are asked to stay home while free such as third years stay in school without even providing them and their teachers with the basic materials like sanitizers. It looks like teachers don't deserve the human dignity the politicians and other sectors enjoy. Is it uh, a crime to be a teacher in Ghana? This is from Israel. Uh, uh, oh God, it's very surprising how these politicians are practicing or politicizing this disease in this country, especially the NDC man sitting there. Does he really care about Ghanaians? Everything he said there is uh, against the president for his selfish interest. He should have been bringing out sensible ideas about fighting this coronavirus. Not time for politics, please. Good morning, Johnny. Please tell the MPP man that we want to know those Ghanaians that the virus affected by because we don't know whether they are our friends or our relatives. Please, we need to know them. Miss Myla uh, from the Greater Accra region. Uh, this one says, good morning, guys. You're looking coronally sweet. <laughs> the registration by the NI is a mess and it makes no sense owing to the directive given by the president. Is that not a gathering that can feel the spread of the virus? So pathetic how some leaders of, of our, uh, some institutions think. Uh, that's it uh, this morning. We 
have banned churches and yet we have moved the church at the center of the nation. The people who are in the church. Which church? Which church is that? Here is it. Here is it. Listen. Here. You see, you are feeding into Here's this it. propaganda. No, no, I'm asking. I mean, but he's like a legend, so he must Here's prove. Must not he prove? Look at it. So which church is that? Yeah. And how, do how do we this verify? How do we verify that? This registration. Can't you see? But the, how, the how, long ago, how long ago was this picture? You see, you know, you know one thing. How long ago was this picture taken? Hold on. How long ago was this picture taken? This is a recent one. This what was what is happening now? This is a church. Look, no, at where, man, where? look at the man do, doing the registration. Where? Look at the man. Easy journey. The same premises that you say they shouldn't hold a church service, that same premises, you are having the registration. Which church is that? Ah, I'm, this is a church. Which church? The name of the church. Yeah. I don't know the name of the church. Look at it. You see, Johnny, you it. know one thing. You see, okay. I can it, see sometimes, people yes. go in the room. Look at it. Yeah, I can yes. see people. Listen. Show it to Eric too. Why are you showing it to Jesse? No, but he, he's not interested. Half of them, if people even die and they are in power, I can't see it. anything. You see, your you eyes see, are not good. Yeah, you know, but you too, your eyes are not good. They, they are not good. You see, you know, you know what actually is amazing? Mm. I remember when the NIO were working in certain parts of the mm. country, the NDC were up in arms as to uh, there have been shortages and the... Uh, That's a di diversion. No, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me, let me, what let me. What kind of you go let back and be talking about you see, things which are unnecessary? See, this whole idea mm. of uh, trying to impugn people's integrity and everything is about elections and everything, it's what is dangerous. It's a call, and it's it's a, a call to have the NIA, NIA stop no, their work but there are, you see, in the interim. Where did you... Did, where did you, where did you I mean, there are millions of Ghanaians who today will be sitting in chotros and be in the market and all of those things. It doesn't make it right. Yeah, you understand? It doesn't make it right. No, but the thing is that, you see, if I believe strongly that as time goes on, if there's a need for, let's say, for instance, a total lockdown. Like the some the need hasn't arisen no, no, for the NIA see, it's, to it's, stop? It's, it's important mm. that we contextualize. People are working into banks and all sorts mm. of things and mm. doing all sorts of things. The banks are asking we have, that we use their digital platforms. It's fine. It's fine. But all I'm saying is that, you see, sometimes we can focus on certain things without thinking about it from a broader Should sense. Should the NIA stop I registering? Have, I mean, the NIA has... No, they uh, want to talk to uh, your listen, board of governors. The NIA, NIA has To know mandate, whether people will die has, or people will not die. Uh, will as stop. far as I'm concerned, I don't speak for the NIA. Mm. And what I know as well is that, for, even from commentary that I've, I've, I've heard, that they are sticking to the social distancing uh, rules. They are ensuring that only 25 people at a time <laughs> Uh, is that 25 people? Of what are you? I'm just saying. But, to, but, but even to, if that, that means that people? for one reason or the other they have okay. to stop, it is not a so big deal. So what's, what's on the front page? To... What's on the front page of the Finder newspaper this morning? Social distancing. I could count from here. Uh -huh. If we had seen the full picture plus those registering with more than 25 people, well, I don't know. That. I mean, is that I, I don't know that. If we, I mean, if we all get infected, have, yes. we will all die. And, there will be no NI, and it would is a result of the NI actually going and the president. There will be no NI. Anyway, infection. Do. Thank you There's very the much. One to blame Please, for this you cannot happening. blame him. He's the one. The, the NI has he a has boss. He has given orders. Mm. And if they are defying his orders, what will he do? The NI has a when boss. When the churches defied his orders, what did he do? He sent the police after the churches. The NI has a boss. And I'm saying that when the uh, churches uh, uh, defied his orders, Johnny, what did he do? Johnny, I think that his orders like have been defied. Eric Chu is, uh, uh, is a member of the NPP's communication team. He also has his family. On the uh, the Fanchakwa South seat on the ticket of the NPP, and uh, his prime minister is on the 25th of April. I wish him well. Eric, thank, thank you very you much for coming. And okay, and um, Abraham Amalba is so, a, a member so. of the NDC's communication team, is the boss of the legal team. And he says that the picture has been showing me, which you can't see, it's, by it's the way, it's is the Methodist, Methodist Church in Suhum. Okay, we'll go and check. Yvonne Ikwe, though, so go and check and, and let's know. But in all of this uh, coronavirus conversation, I haven't heard anybody talk about persons with disability. And I think that we should be talking about it today on Community Connect on 3FM 92.7. Our brothers and sisters who are disadvantaged, what help is there for them? Even those of us who, uh, excuse me to say, are able-bodied can feel too good and safe. So what help is there for them? Thank you to NKD Styles for my routine outfit. We'll see you after the break.